Hi, I'm Sven Nilsen, the creator of Signal Elemento. In this video, I will talk about um, deforming uh, hair. So, uh, let's uh, just use a simple uh, figure. I'm just creating two ellipses, two, one for the head and one for the body. some control points and use the create skeleton and attach graphics command and then you can test to see it works so I want to add um, the um, uh, I want to add uh, the deform layer but before uh, this I should rename the matrix layers so let's rename this to head matrix and this one to uh, body matrix and then the control points let's call it the top point Point. And back point. So uh, add um, a deform layer. I'll move it to the top. Uh, that's the most back most draw um, order. So I'm. Um, then we create a curve, add it inside the deform, and then we draw some here. You can use uh, images, you can use everything in the deform layer. So this is just a demonstration, uh, demonstration of how to program this. So. Uh, before I uh, I created the deform layer, I used uh, more expressions and such. And, um, but um, or you can add a deform expression directly on the curve. But uh, in general, it's best to use a deform layer. Um, um now we uh, we do something a trick we add some extra control points two for the head and two for the shoulders and uh, you should remember the order which you added the two first is for a head the two next is for the body And then we select the, the deform layer, and uh, then uh, we use an action called setup. And we, since we have no matrix, it's not inside a matrix. We just skip that uh, point, and then we select um, the control points that we want. I use shift to multi-select by holding shift. Okay, and um, we can move, and we we see the body moves, and we and we move the control points. So that we also move the hair. Uh, now we want to modify the expression for the control points using the code editor. So we open up the code editor and we line it up. And um, then we type transform head matrix transform head matrix 
transform of the matrix transform of the matrix like this and then you will uh, since we are not going to use the uh, in the control points but let the matrix layer control it we select this and you right click and uh, element to calculate the position first and um, now this position is uh, in the clipboard so you can type inverse transform paste it and type head matrix and then we select the next one right click and select and then we do the same thing for the next one only this time we use body matrix this and then you click OK and then you test it and when you move the head now you see the hair is also moving so you can just um, hide the points that you are no longer using and this will be deleted when you um, clean up delete unused variables and you see it's four uh, variables deleted. Uh, now we can uh, select the hair and we make it dark and then we add some color to the body This should be before like this, and then we test it to see how it works. Perhaps you should have the hair in front of the body. Then we move the deform layer down one step, and uh, what you should do next is to to create a neck that is um, um, covering the hair. Um, let's um, clone the head matrix and we hide everything inside it and we move it. No, no, um, I meant um, we want to clone body matrix uh, hide everything inside it and move it in front of the um, deform layer and then we add um, we can cr uh, create use a curve like this oh, it's not <laughs> Uh, but you see what you mean, you can find adjust this to your um, settings or you can create another body that looks better and you can uh, clone the hair um, or you can duplicate it if you duplicate you uh, duplicate the expression and uh, everything so you can modify it as you wish, let's see um, I want that in the front of the head, so I move it down, and then we re right click and remove all points, and then we try a new here, and test it, and now we see the hair is also moving. Okay, this was it. Um, thanks for watching. 
and hope you um, follow uh, Stickman.